Hi there, this is Kim Phoenix of BuyHealthPLR.com and today I'm going to show you how you can take a mini site template or a sales page template that you have purchased through a PLR pack and how you can upload that to your site. Okay, now um, I assume that you've already watched the first video. The first video covers how you can edit um, some of the words or the content and um, if you want to add testimonials and stuff, how you, if you want to add any of that to the template, you can do that using Composer. So if you haven't watched that, um, I encourage you to go and watch that video. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be um, uploading the uh, edited HTML, index.html um, to the website as well as the CSS and the images, okay? Um, now I'm going to, what I'm going to do first of all is what I should mention I guess is that I'm going to install this on one of my websites called the onlinechick.com and this is already an established website so what I'm going to do is let's just pretend that I was going to be um, selling this uh, particular anxiety ebook on my website. Um, an established website. So I'm going to show you how we would create a couple folders uh, to do that so it could be accessed. Um, now you may decide that you want your home page. You may have to buy a whole new URL or domain name and um, set that up and make your home page the, um, uh, the sales page. So um, what I'm going to be covering is if you already have um, a site and you want it uh, to be off of that, okay? So what we would do first of all is we're going to go into my file manager and once we're in the file manager I'm going to go under public HTML here and we're going to find the online chick in there. Here it is, we're going to click on that and first thing we're going to do is we are going to create a new folder. Um, I should mention the online chick is made using WordPress. Um, so we're going to create a new folder first of all. I'm going to call it sales, like for sales pages. And then because I may want to have different products that are inside this folder, I'm also going to create another folder and I'm going to call that one anxiety because this is the anxiety book. All right. So it is this folder that inside of which we want to upload uh, the contents. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to upload. We're going to press upload here. And from here we're going to browse. And it brings me into my documents. I'm just going to head back here. One thing. So here we are. We're in the mini site template. And this is, if you remember, this is where I had stored it last night. This is my edited index.html, all right? And you'll want your file to be called index.html. If you have a different name, um, it's easy to change it back. You would just have to rename it once it's inside of your cPanel. Um, but to make things easier, that's why I already have it as index.html here. Um, so we're going to upload that first of all. and it's complete and then what we're going to do is we're going to head back and we're going to upload the CSS one thing I should mention is inside the sales slash anxiety um, folder I'm going to actually create a new folder and we're going to call that, we'll call one CSS. All right. And I'm going to call the other one images. And that is what we are going to, there we go. Okay. So in the CSS, we're going to go back here and we're going to upload each of the files specifically into here because we can't upload it as a uh, folder. So, um, so let's upload here. We're going to go back into here and open this up and we'll 
We'll put those and we'll bring both of those in. This is complete. All right, okay, so we have those in there. Um, now the next thing we need to do here is let's return back into the C panel. Just give me a second here. So if we go into the CSS here, into this folder, we'll see that those two files that we just uploaded are in there. So now we need to upload the images into the images folder. All right, so unfortunately this takes a little bit more time um, as compared to if you were doing it by FTP where you could upload the whole folder. Um, uh, I happen to use um, the FTP, the Fire, um, it's called Fire FTP. Um, it's an add-on or it's an add-on of Mozilla Firefox. So what we're going to do now is we're going to find the images folder here and you're going to have to upload each of the images separately. So we would open it, upload, complete. Go back, do the next image and do all of the images that are in here. So for the sake of time I'm not, I'm going to pause it and I'm going to upload all of the images and then I'll be right back. So once all of the files, all of the image files have been uploaded, you can see them here, we're going to head back in here again. And all of these images, if we go up one level, you see that they should be inside your images folder like this. Okay, so you want to make sure they're in there like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head on over and um, we're going to see the site live, okay? So you can see this is the onlinechick.com. This is my website, but I'm going to show you. You'll recall what we had done was we had created those extra folders. So if I go like this, slash sales, slash anxiety, we will now pull up the sales page. So there it is. And if you had watched the first video, you would see we had edited a few things. We had edited um, the price right here. Um, we had edited, we had made this um, so it would click. Actually, we set it up so that it would click and head over to my Buy Health PLR website. So there you go, just to show you how that works. Um, so there you go. Of course, that's not where it would be going for the Buy Health PLR. You would send it to wherever they're going to purchase it from, but it was just to give you an example of what that looked like. Um, so there, that's one thing I should mention is when you upload it, and if you end up with like a little blank space where there should be an image, that is the problem is that you have skipped or missed um, adding that image, uploading it into your um, uh, into your uh, computer, so into your server. So just go back and add that into your images, see which image you missed, and it'll be very easy to correct. Okay, so that is it. Um, take care, and I hope that helps. Bye now.